Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here. In-game stutter and hitching in Simu has been a cause of headaches for many users. We finally have a complete solution to eliminate or in most cases severely decrease stutter for good. It comes in the form of a new feature within Simu Hook courtesy of its creator Raiko. This stutter solution can be applied to any game not just Breath of the Wild. Let me show you how it's done. Go to this link and download the latest version of Simu Hook, which at the time of this recording is 0.5.6.2. Now with your download, take it into your Simu folder, right click, extract here. Say yes to all to overwrite. Then you can simply remove your download. Once this is done, open up Simu. With Simu open, go to debug pre-compiled shader cache and select disabled or ignored. What this will do is bypass your pre-compiled shader cache folder. The next step, simply load your game. In this case, I'm using Breath of the Wild with a transferable shader cache of 9614. If you would like that, I'll include it in the description below. This first compilation will take around 10 minutes. Once loaded into your game, you should be able to do any action stutter free especially those synonymous with problems such as using your bomb runes or cutting down a tree. What we're doing here is using our GPU vendors GL cache only. Now this is where things get interesting. If your experience is stutter free as advertised then that is fantastic but you need to continue watching. If your experience is not stutter free then you definitely need to continue watching. The following information applies to those of you who are now stutter free as well as those of you who still have the micro stutter. The following step is key to speeding up and improving your experience. Now that we are solely using the GL cache, there are a few things that you need to know. First of all, where is it? So here is the path right here. For me, it's C users James app data local NVIDIA. If everything has gone as planned and you are indeed stutter free, then all that you really need to do is back up your GL cache to any location of your choice and then copy it back over with each fresh reboot and then load the game. So from here, we're going to go into GL cache. Then we have this long number, another long number and the files themselves. OK, so this is the one that we're going to focus on here, the 66C. So my shader cache of 9614 produced a GL cache size of 537. With each fresh reboot of your system, this folder gets wiped, leading to a first time slow compilation when you load your game. Of course, the stutter fix will still be there. Now, to avoid this and speed up compilation times, what we can do is make a copy of this folder. So next time when you reboot, all you need to do is rename this folder, removing the dash and the copy so that you can once again enjoy your stutter free gaming experience. Additionally, I do recommend that you back up your GL cache to a secondary location such as your desktop or a place of your choosing. For now, this action is slightly inconvenient because it's manually done. However, I have no doubt that it can be easily automated. Just to reiterate, you make a copy of the original file after you have closed out of Simu and your game. And of course, you rename the folder before loading the game. Now, for those of you that this fix worked for, that's it, you're done, you're good to go. However, as I stated earlier, this fix did not work for me as advertised. In real time, I'm going to explain my problem and solution. First of all, let's load a save. Here we are in the GL cache. And if I check one more time at the file size, 537, we know that my fully compiled GL cache is 537 megabytes. After loading into the game, it's already changed to 538. Now, this is where I found things a little bit strange because why is a fully compiled, fully complete cache growing in any way? Let's see if we have this stutter free performance. Okay, already you can see that we do not. So let's throw a bomb, shall we? Okay, we have the absolute classic stutter issues that many people are familiar with. Let's cut down a tree. 
once again we have stutter but the question is why it, do we not have a full transferable shader cache and a full gl cache as far as we know we do and this is supposed to be the solution however let's try another move in game a classic one Rivali's gale more stutter now this is what i refer to as micro stutter this isn't the same as building a fresh cache because we know we have a cache compiled so these are not completely fresh shaders that we're getting but the question is what if we check the geocache folder now okay we're we, we are still growing in a file size now the question is why I have personally tried every tweak and every option that I can think of to no avail. However, do not worry, if you still suffer from the micro stutter, there are ways around this. So let's use Cryonis and we should still we should see that micro stutter. Okay, so once again, this is not a fresh shader compilation. These are micro stutters. Now, with every slight stutter that you see, there will be a slight growth in the GL cache. Let's try Urbosa's Fury. Once again, micro stutter. So for those of you who have a similar problem to me, this is the solution that I found. You basically have to live with the micro stutter, but only once. So once again, we started with 537 and now we have 540. Okay, so this for some reason the GL cache is growing. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it updated. Okay, and when I'm done playing the game and I've been to several different areas and I've been dealing with this micro stutter and I know that the GL cache has grown, I will never have to suffer these little micro stutters again unless under certain specific conditions. For those of you still suffering with the micro stutter and have a similar problem to me, what we seem to do in theory is basically build what I'm going to call a mini cache. We have the full cache but we are adding to the GL cache. So once we go through any of these individual actions just once and deal with that micro stutter one time, what we'll do is we'll make a copy of that GL cache and then when we load the game similar to before that's what we will use and we will not see the same stutter again for example if i check the gl cache now we are at 542 megabytes up from the original 537 if i do some new actions let's go through a few different arrow types there should be stutter here okay there's our micro stutter of course it doesn't do it the second time because it's in the gl cache if we go to the ice arrow, I imagine there'll be a micro stutter. There is, but it doesn't do it, or it shouldn't really do it the second time. Uh, shock arrows. First time, there'll be a stutter. Second time, there won't. Third time, there won't. And every subsequent, subsequent time, there will not. So we have now stored this into our geocache. 543 it keeps on growing little bit by little bit and of course this is what we copy and this is what we load before we play the game on each new reboot so my personal recommendation is deal with the micro stutter but only once then what we will do is close out of the game because of course the geocache is being accessed so it doesn't like the files to be played with and i'm going to make a copy of this okay i'm going to put it in updated and then with the updated file, I'm just going to store it on my desktop. I must admit, a little bit inconvenient, but I think you'll agree it's very much worth it for a smooth gaming experience. If you have the same problem as me, consider every one of those micro stutters as getting closer and closer to a perfect experience. Remember to always copy back over your geocache after a playing session if you noticed any micro stutter. Then, of course, on a fresh day with a fresh boot, simply use your updated file and place it in your GL cache location. I hope that I was just about clear enough and that you were able to follow me. If this video was helpful or interesting, remember to leave a thumbs up. If it wasn't, thumbs down. And if you want to see more content from The Complaining Gamer, remember to subscribe.